How to forecast your data? In today's video, I'm going to show you four ways to predict your data. Hi, my name is John and I'm from Business Focus, helping your business achieve your goals. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and let's get started. Here we have a sample data set comprised of sales for the past 10 days. What we'd like to find out is what is your forecast for day 11. The first is the naive method which is the easiest, most simplest method to utilize. It uses the most recent period as your reference. So in our case here to forecast day 11, we use day 10 as our reference. Second is moving average wherein we average at least two or more periods to determine our forecast. So it's important to set the interval first. So in our case, let's use three days as our reference. So to forecast day 11, we need at least three periods to average. So we simply type in the function formula average and we average the most recent period, which is day 10, day 9, and day 8. And we get 29.99. Third is the exponential smoothing, where we forecast the period based on the forecast on the previous period, the actual of the previous period, and your constant. To do that, we need to use data analysis. So go to data tab. Next is go to data analysis. For more information on how to enable data analysis, you can check out my other videos. Once done, go to exponential smoothing and select OK. The next will be as the input range. So input the sales column all the way to day 10. Select OK. Next is the dumping factor, which is based on the constant. So let's assume if the constant is 0.2, so our dumping factor will be 0.8. The next is check the box for labels. And the output range is on the same page, and we'll do it on day one for exponential smoothing column. And we should get our forecast. Now, if you notice, the forecast we only got is up to day 10. So we'll be using the formula to determine day 11. So to forecast day 11, we use the forecast of the previous period plus the constant, which is 0.2. Open parenthesis, actual of the previous period minus the forecast of the previous period, close parenthesis, and we get 27.59. The fourth is trend projection, wherein we will utilize regression. With one small difference, our independent variable will always be period, whether it be days, weeks, months, or even years. To create a regression output, we need to go to Data Analysis. So select Data tab, select Data Analysis, and go to Regression. So your Y input range is your dependent variable. In this case, it's Sales. For your X input, which is your independent variable, in this case, it's Dates. Then check the box for Labels. And your output range Let's use the same worksheet. Let's put it beside the table and select OK. Now for purposes here, we'll be only utilizing the coefficients for the y-intercept and for your slope variable. So let's substitute the variables. So the slope times the 11th day plus the y-intercept and you get 32.5. Here we have a summary of our forecast using all four methods. And now you can clearly see all four methods yielded different outcomes. So the question you have to ask yourself, which one should you base your forecast? To determine that, you can check out my other videos, how to measure the accuracy of your forecast. You have now reached the end of the video. Don't forget to leave a comment down below and hit the like button. For more guides, tutorials, and tips, you can check out my other videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.